probably uh, 50,000 visitors with that, those two things combined, which would have put us over 700,000 for the first time since 1997 had those things not occurred. So we think we're on the right track uh, bringing people back to the park. That's all I've got. I'd, I'd be glad to answer any questions if you have them. I have a question. <clears throat> you have a campsite and a gas station there? We have a gas station, but there are no campgrounds. We're, we're looking at two campgrounds in our next concession contract, but we don't have them now. Okay, thank you. Um, gentlemen, any questions? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I do have a, a minor question, I think. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Weller. Yes, I'm sorry I did not catch the gentleman's name. I'll just call you sir. Um, uh, I'm curious, I, I did not have time to study this very long. I appreciate the presentation, but uh, could you uh, speak to the fact whether this is a, a recent expansion of the boundaries or just a recent uh, expansion within the boundaries that were already there for use of the public? Thank you for the question. That's an important distinction to make. The boundary, the, the new boundary that was authorized in 2004 has not changed. That, that expansion uh, was of 125,000 acres authorized. Uh, but at the authorization, it, there was no funding to uh, expand, to actually acquire the lands. So since 2004, the National Park Service has acquired approximately 15,000 acres of BLM land that is inside that new authorized boundary, and has acquired approximately 30,000 acres of private land through the purchase of land from willing sellers over that period. And that's, that's what I was showing in that earlier slide. And some of those newly acquired lands are now accessible, you're stating? Some of those newly acquired lands are accessible, and our intent uh, next year, assuming we can uh, continue our negotiations with the state land department successfully, we hope to be able to open a significant amount of additional land next year. Well, well I can't. Okay, thank you very much. That answers my questions. Okay, any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the uh, item two, consent item, Mr. Winger. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the consent agenda consists of items A through D, and we would recommend approval. There's a motion to approve. Mr. Weller? Okay. I'll go ahead and second the motion. Questions, comments? All in favor? Uh, Mr. Weller? Yeah, only, only a comment to, that I will be abstaining, abstaining from this vote due to the fact that I have not had the opportunity to uh, fully study the demands and or the processes leading up to the demands. That's my only reason for abstaining. Okay, thank you. See, uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Oppose. Abstain. One abstain. Okay. Two in favor, none opposed, one abstain. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to item three, Sheriff's Office. Good morning, Chief. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. The Sheriff's Office uh, requests discussion and possible approval enter into a cooperative law enforcement agreement with the USDA Forest Service, Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, in the amount of $10,120 with no matching funds required. This is an ongoing grant that we've had for several years. This grant provides overtime for uh, us to have a deputy patrolling on the forest during the busy weekends and holiday weekends uh, of the summer. And provides us with that extra manpower at no cost to the county, we recommend approval. Okay. Move we approve, sir. Okay, there's a motion to approve. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will not be seconding this. I will be opposing this with several questions and concerns. Okay. I'll go ahead and second the motion. 
Your your concerns, Mr. Weller? Uh, yes, my concerns are uh, several. Uh, first of all, there's wording in there that is very uh, inappropriate, where the, the wording in the contract states these are National Forest Service lands, uh, which I completely agree with, and I hope our legal staff do, agrees that should not be in there. They are nationally forest service administered lands or managed lands. They are not their lands. And uh, I would hope that our our, uh, our supervisors of the uh, sovereign nation of uh, the Navajo Nation would be uh, thoughtful about that issue also. Uh, then also there is uh, several references to incorporating uh, law enforcement agreement and uh, several uh, pointers within that. Uh, and that documentation was not provided. Uh, with the, uh, the grant request, uh, and uh, lastly, and, and truthfully, most critically to me, I think we need to start uh, segregating ourselves from any funding from the federal government towards law enforcement so that we don't lead ourselves towards a situation that just took place up in Nevada, uh, where a sheriff uh, refused to respond to a citizen's request to protect him and would not stand between the federal government and the citizen uh, and, and, and tell it escalated into a nearly violent confrontation. Uh, and uh, it was very obvious as I was there to speak to the people involved, including the law enforcement people, that grants and the concern about losing contact with funds was one of the critical issues associated with the sheriff not setting up and standing for their duties. I'm sure Mr. Eager and um, our wonderful sheriff, Mr. Bedman, would uh, uh, readily tell me that, uh, that, that that could not possibly happen here. Uh, but I'm concerned greatly for that. And uh, to that issue, I hope that uh, Chief Deputy Eager, Eager would make a statement before us that he would always respond to stand between the federal government's law enforcement capability, which they do not have authority for, and stop it before it gets to any of our citizens or any of our processes here in the county. Okay. Response, uh, Chief? The response is the sheriff has the authority to uh, deputize anyone that he sees fit in his county. We've had the, the uh, Forest Service law enforcement come to us multiple times requesting uh, to be deputized. Sheriff Dedman has always refused to do that. We do have a working relationship with them, which has absolutely nothing to do with being tied to any funding, and we will continue to do our job as we see fit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, Chief Deputy Eager, I, I appreciate that, and I and I understand that has been the uh, history up to this point, and there's no, there's no uh, accusation or any inferences. Uh, uh, opposed to that, uh, but I have not seen the documentation that this is tied to, uh, and uh, and I, I want to raise this issue on a regular basis uh, within any funding that comes from the federal government in any way towards our law enforcement uh, organization, and I ask that your organization start to think about that, uh, because uh, this is to protect the citizens of this, this county. And if we have our lands back, and we could uh, utilize them in a manner appropriate, we could uh, start building the economic base to grow the sheriff's department and the educational systems in this county. Uh, and so I stand for uh, not bringing that funding into this county any longer. So I appreciate that, and I'll be voting against this particular grant. Thank you. Okay, thank you. With that, I'll go ahead and call for the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Oppose? Today. Your vote is Two in favor and one opposed. Thank you. Let's move on to item four, Sheriff's Office. Sheriff's Office <coughs> requests discussion and possible approval to enter into an agreement for services with Leads Online, an online reporting and criminal investigation system for retrieving data for use by law enforcement. The cost is $2,238 and will be paid using Sheriff's Office repo funds. Leads Online is a way for us to track items that are pawned or items that are scrapped. It is a, a very beneficial tool for all law enforcement.